everyone, welcome back to my Tomb Raider Remastered Unfinished Business playthrough. Today we are going to be playing through the Hive. I absolutely love this level so I am super excited to play it again after my files corrupted. So let's just get into it. Oh, the load screens are just so beautiful. Okay, so this finishes up right where the other level left off. That door just closes so we can't go back. Um, and this is the boulder trap to end all boulder traps. When I first saw this, when I played Unfinished Business, I was like, what in the heck? But that's why I love this level so much. They just went all out with some of the traps. And these guys don't animate until later, so we don't have to worry about them. Oh, are they like umbilical cords? coming out of them. Is that guy moving? Like is he switching position or something? I don't know. Doesn't it look like they have umbilical cords? Oh I forgot these pickups. I forgot, I forgot. Okay. I am- oh god! I was about to say I am ready. Clearly, I am not. Oh, jeez. Just about avoided that one. Holy crap. Okay. Okay, shaky start. Whoa. <laughs> Oh god. So I'm gonna try and just like loosen all the balls so that this will just be <laughs> easier. Oh it hit me but I'm fine. It hit me but I'm okay. Jesus! I jumped right into it when I should have just stayed put. <gasps> oh holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> this is a flipping disaster. But you know what? I'm getting through them. But oh. oh Jesus. Okay. Do you know what? I haven't died yet. So I'm doing alright. <laughs> oh! Okay, I have no idea how that didn't squish me. But I'm gonna go with it. I ain't gonna ask the questions. Right, I don't know how to, how to loosen these. Uh. Hmm. Jeepers. How do I get those down? Okay, I think that's them all. That ball, that ball's stuck up there. That ball, that ball doesn't drop. <laughs> Let's just move on. Anyway. <laughs> okay, let's do this. I can't believe I didn't die. I lost nearly all my life, but I did not die doing that. That was impressive. I really need to take a value pack. <sighs> oh. 
Uh. See, that's why it's handy to loosen all the balls first because then you can just like flip it around and avoid the fire without worrying about it. Oh. Sorry, there are like a million pigeons flying, flocking around on my balcony. It's so distracting, I can just see them flying back and forth. Anyway, sorry, doesn't matter. <laughs> they are... They are usually out there causing absolute havoc in the spring. If you know what I mean. That's all I will say about the type of behavior the pigeons are exhibiting. We don't need we don't need to talk anymore. Right. So that actually went well. I'm pleased with that. Very pleased. Okay, so this bit's a bit tricky. Right, so a jump. Oh sugar. Jump 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 whoop, and then we flip back and forth to get to this bit right and then there's a don't you stop it arse and right there's one more here Oh, sh no! Oh, yeah, absolute arsehole. Oh, sh sugar. Ooh, okay, that worked out. That's fine. No need to panic. No. Whoops. Oh, well. I'll just do this then. Hello. She cut it out. <sighs> Got you this time. Right, so now we can admire the absolute amazingness of this room. <laughs> I cannot get over how amazingly gorgeous this is. Just look at the difference. Like it was cool, it was cool before, but oh my God, the glowing lava everywhere. <sighs> it's absolutely stunning. This is maybe my favorite part of this level it's just so gorgeous so gorgeous okay i'm recovered also sorry if you can hear that dog <laughs> that dog going mental in the background <sighs> i wish i could have a lovely soundproof studio to record in but Unfortunately, I don't. And someone's dog is out there going absolutely mental. Right, he's not, he's not stopping. So I'm just gonna have to continue. This is why I could never have a dog. Like I think dogs are so adorable. They're so cute. I love playing with them and spending time with them and everything but I could never own one because the constant high energy and barking and stuff would really bother me but I do love I love like visiting with a dog because I do think they're so cute and fun but yeah no I'm definitely I'm a cat person <laughs> A chill, chill, quiet cat person. Right. Oh God, it's right there. 
Jeez, I thought he was further down a little bit. Would you stop? Stop it. Right. So. Yeah, this bit's a little bit tricky. It's like a tiny, tiny jumpy dory thing, but that's okay. We can do it. So first things first is I'm gonna get the, gonna get the pickups. Okay, sorted. And then I think the easiest way to do it is to jump onto that pillar and then quickly jump around and go through that door. I have tried and done the left hand side door a few times and I think that one is much harder. Okay, so let's give this a go. And then we can jump here. <laughs> Run around and squeeze in awesome and you actually have like plenty of time to do it that way it's um yeah it's pretty handy oh thank goodness i think the dog has stopped now i think it has stopped so oh god i jumped into the egg why did i do that um so i Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> Never mind. I am pretty sure, but I just want to check that that oh god, look at it all pulsing and oh oh god, oh that actually looks like it looks like arteries or hearts or something, doesn't it? Oh <laughs> it's so gross. Um yeah, I think this just opens the door. So you can get back outside if you, I don't know, forgot anything or just want to, which is pretty handy. Oops. Don't know what I'm doing. I think I just climb up here. Uh, okay, that's too high. Not that it's even too high, that is just not even a ledge. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm very tired. I'm very tired today. Oh, I should actually take a medipack or they're gonna kill me. Hello? Get out of the ceiling! Stop with your shenanigans now! God, they're so annoying. That's just grumpy me now. Absolutely done with the mutants shite today. Completely done. Right, I don't think there are any pickups or anything around here, so. Let's try and jump over here. Whoops. Whoop. Oh! Well, that didn't work, did it? There we go. <laughs> this centaur always makes me laugh. Because he doesn't animate until you get to a certain point. But until then, he's just completely frozen. <laughs> You're just standing there. Not doing anything. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> I have to say though, what toothpaste do these mutants use? Because their teeth are like so white. Very nice. Look, he's still not animated. It's hilarious. Jesus. Ooh. 
Okay, gotcha now. And then we just drop down here. And yeah, we finally get the Uzis. Glorious. So these mutants are not going to know what hit them. And we get one last view at this gorgeous, shiny, glowing cavern. My absolute favourite, my favourite part. I love it. Okay, and because... Ew, look what I'm standing on. It looks like a bloodshot eyeball or something. Ugh. Anyway, or does it look like the, the outside of a lung? It, it doesn't matter. Because I already played this level and then went on to the start of the Egypt section, I checked and I know now that you start from scratch in Egypt as well with like guns, ammo, medipacks. So because I know that, there is absolutely no point in conserving ammo or medipacks or whatever. So I'm just gonna use my Uzis and I'm just gonna start blasting. Absolutely just start blasting because why not? That's what the guns are there for, right? To have fun. Right, so I know that there are five small medipacks down here and I believe one or two sets of Uzi clips. So we we'll just stop. The rudeness. Okay. So. I could have sworn there was a medipack here. I'm running out of air. Okay, let me get air. <sighs> Is that something down there? Oh, that looks like a medipack. That was sneaky. Right, so Uzi's. Uh huh. -huh. Three medipacks. Ooh, four medipacks. Hmm. I could have sworn that there was one more set of oozy clips around that central structure. Maybe I should. Oh, Jesus! Lara was like, ow! <sighs> oh, poor Lara! <laughs> what an asshole! Right, as I was saying, I could have sworn that there's a second set of Uzi clips around this structure somewhere, so maybe I need to switch to original graphics to see them. I just can't see anything. Why is it so fuzzy? Right, okay, I guess I'm just... I'm just looking around. Jesus! I'm just looking around here for no reason. <sighs> this is the most stressful thing ever. Yeah, okay, I could have killed the mutants first. <laughs> Maybe I should have done that, right? <laughs> Let's, let's, let's kill the mutants. Uh, yeah. Okay. Duh. Okay, we're gonna oozy this fella out of it. Stop it! <sighs> Look at those fellas. Oh, the bubbles again. The bubbles. Look at those guys just standing there. I actually really like this bit. I think it's really cool. Um, hang on, let's see if I can jump over to this. It kind of reminds me of those... Uh, oh, you're just... You're just gonna stand there? All right, so. Makes my life easier, I'm not complaining. But yeah, this part reminds me of those games at fun fairs and stuff where like maybe all the bottles are lined up on different rows and you have to like 
toss the ball and hit them. So it's kind of like playing that, but with mutants. Instead of hitting them with a ball, you just like kill them with guns. It's quite a fun game. Especially for Lara. I think she prefers this version. Okay, so we have so many Uzi clips now. So I think we're safe to use the Uzis. Why the hell not? Right, I can hear you. Oh, Jesus! Actually, didn't realize he would be on the ledge with us. Right. Awesome. Love the Uzis dealing with these guys. Oh, look at it pumping. Oh god. Such a cool effect. Like I know they had the pumping in the previous, but I don't know. It just looks more gross here because you can see like the blood vessels or arteries kind of, I don't know, pumping away. Oh, why is he, was he just standing there? Right, that'll teach you to shoot at me. That will teach you. Okay, if I'm missing a pickup at the end of this level, I'll know it was a set of easy clips here. <laughs> Did they just shoot at me? It's okay, I panicked. I panicked, but it's okay. Oh look, he's trying to he's trying to run through the door. Stupid mutant. Gotcha. In fairness, he made it very easy. Very easy indeed. So I'm really hoping that my Uzis last for most of this, but we'll see. We'll see how good I do. <coughs> Ew! Sorry. That's so disgusting. Oh my god. I need to take a medipack. Oh god. And right, don't these things look like uteruses? They're like in the shape of a uterus. I don't know if they're meant to be a muscle or something. But they sure as hell look like a uterus to me. And like I said, it would fit in with the theme of Atlantis being like a life creating organism itself so uh yeah i'm just gonna say that they're uteruses because 100 percent that's what they look like that is what they look like Ooh, oh god sorry i'm so tired right which door wasn't that door okay Ha. 
Oh! Huh? Come on then. But, oh god. Sweet G bus. What the hell is going on? <sighs> Absolute disaster. Okay. So can I I need life. Can I pop <sighs> this egg and then like backflip in here no okay won't let me do that of course that would that would make our lives too easy Jesus. Oh my god. Ooh, ooh. Okay, I'm trying really hard not to pop the third egg, so I'm trying to stay in this area. Because I don't need to make my life harder. Whew. Do you know what? That's probably the best that section has ever gone for me very pleased and then let's just pop this one <gasps> awesome woohoo so proud of myself <laughs> now that i know those bubbles aren't made by a mutant whale or mutant crocodile uh yeah i think they're quite cool i like them <laughs> I'm like that fish in Finding Nemo, where he's like, bubbles, bubbles, my bubbles. Okay. Get all the pickups, try not to drown. Go, go. But more Uzi clips is super helpful. Breathe. Whoops. God, the colors in this are so rich and so lovely. They did a really nice job with the atmosphere in the Atlantis levels. Okay, so I'm gonna try and get all the pickups as I do this as well. So I think the best trick for doing this is to go around in like an anti-clockwise pattern. That kind of works the best to get everything as quickly as possible. Right. Um, I want to look around a little bit more though, just to make sure I didn't miss anything. So I'm going to go back out and breathe. I got everything. And nothing here. Cool. And now we're back out at this section. And now we just get to climb up the structure here. 
So the level is called the hive, but I'm not actually 100% sure what part of the level is the actual hive. I don't know if it's the nursery part at the end that we're going to now or what the story is. Or if maybe this is the hive because yeah, it could kind of look like a hivey structure, I guess. No, I'm honestly not sure now. Whoops. Oh. Whoops. Well, this is a disaster. <laughs> this is embarrassing. <laughs> can I <clears throat> oh I can just jump over here but let me just double check that I didn't miss anything okay um now I'm gonna use my, no, my shotgun that's the wrong wrong one there we go so yeah I would actually say that this whole structure we just climbed into is the hive and then the two rooms we're about to go to are like the main parts of the hive. That's my best guess, anyway. But... Boom. Right. And then there is a medipack here. And I actually love... I love these final two rooms. They're so awesome. Okay. I don't think there's anything else. Do you know, I might as well. I might as well use the medipacks. I don't get to keep them. So there's no point in trying to do it without them and dying or whatever. That would be absolutely pointless. Oh. Right. Let's go. I love this room. <gasps> Look how scary and terrifying this room is. When I first played this and came into this room, I was like, you've got to be flippity flip kidding me. Because I thought they were all going to come alive. And I'd have to fight them all at the same time. Which is kind of true, but there is a good trick to only have to fight a few of them at a time. So, they're as scary as these guys are, they actually won't activate until you pick up one of these from here okay so they have been like triggered now <sighs> they've been woken up and yeah i don't know if this is a kind of incubation or growing room like part of the hive for maybe adolescent mutants, for the mutants to reach their full maturity or something. I don't know what exactly this room is meant to be, but I think it's really, really cool. Because the room next door is kind of the nursery for the babies, and then maybe this is for the adolescent ones to grow. Okay. So, the corners activate them. And then if we jump back to the center, they can't get us. And it kind of activates only about two or three at a time, which is handy. Come on then. Whoop. 
Oh, oh God, no, would you stop? Jesus, no, oh, absolute disaster, disaster. <sighs> disaster, disaster, get away. Oh God, I'm trying to get back onto the center one. Stop it. Well, that just accidentally made five of them come alive. Absolute flipping disaster that was. <sighs> At least we survived. Stop your messing around. Oh! So creepy the way they stalk you around the pillars look that's so awful okay so how many are left one that was absolute carnage oh god i almost fell in there how do i how do I activate that one? Hello? Does it activate if I go towards the door maybe? Hello, I'm at the door. Oh yeah, there we go. I knew that would set him off. Right, okay, so we've cleaned out the I don't know, the high school? <laughs> so that's done. The teenage mutants are dealt with. Oh no! Sorry, calling them teenage mutants sounds way too like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and God, I used to love, I used to love them when I was a kid. I don't want to kill, kill the turtles. Okay. So now we are in the nursery. Oh, jeez. Absolute disaster. Carnage. Jeez. Absolute carnage. Flipping heck. I am not able for this. Right. Now, are there, oops, me head. Are there any pickups in here? I don't remember there being any. No, I don't think so. Right, so let's go into the final room. Oops, stop that, Lara. Stop it! Oh, and when I first entered this room, I was like, oh no, all the eggs. So this is the room that we looked into when we first started this section with the, the centaur playing nanny. <laughs> and when I first played this and came in here, I was like, oh my God, I cannot move and pop these eggs because then I'll be unleashing like 10 mutants while I'm trying to fight the centaur as well. And I was completely panicking, but I needn't have worried because there we go. Now that Nanny's been dealt with, 
because they're all empty. So it's really cool. So that's why I think this is the nursery or like the kind of baby incubation stage. Um, they're all empty. So I guess the, the mutant hasn't developed yet. So we just need to pop and destroy all of these. Well, you don't need to, but it kind of like fits with the story to pop and destroy all the eggs so that no more mutants can grow from those. Um, Cause yeah, that's what Lara is supposed to be doing here is making sure that all the last mutants are destroyed and gone so that no mutants survive, no mutants can be unleashed onto the world. Which, you know, I think is, is pretty important. And someone commented actually on my first video for Unfinished Business and said that the developers said, <laughs> said that the developers said that it's supposed to be during these two levels that at some point Lara finds the broken pieces of the ski on and kind of picks them up and takes them with her on her way out and that's how she ends up with them to display in her Tomb Raider 3 Craft Manor treasure room and I think that's really cool. I wish they'd actually put that in the game that we could pick those up because yeah see we don't have them. I think that, that would have been cool if they had added that in that we pick up the broken pieces of the ski on at some stage but yeah, I still think it's really cool anyway. Okay, so this bit is tricky because space is so tight. It's so tight when you're trying to flip. But... Oh shit! Disaster. But Oof. Oops. Okay, let's try and Okay, there's nothing there. The last one. Great. Last mutant taken care of. Happy days. And this door is timed, so I have to shake a leg. Shake a leg. Let's escape. And yeah. So these are all empty eggs as well that we have just popped um, so they can't grow mutants. So yeah, that is the entirety of Atlantis now. Cleared out, dealt with, there are no mutants left. So all that's left for us to do is to swim out here and escape the island. And this is where the cutscene happens where Lara gets to the boat and drives off as the whole place just explodes which is pretty cool so let's go awesome okay so that took 53 minutes we got one out of one secrets yeah okay we missed a pickup i knew it and 41 kills so that's awesome so yeah in the next level we will start into the egypt section but i guess we'll just head there now and take a look at the loading screen and stuff because even though I actually played this before, I don't remember what the loading screen looks like. I've completely forgotten, so I'm excited to see it. Oh my god! Oh my god, oh, I'm so excited. I am so excited to play these Egypt levels. And these ones will be first reaction because I have not played these before. 
And yes, we start off again with absolutely nothing, starting off from scratch. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this video. I really hope it was still a fun playthrough to watch, even though I had played through this level already, but I actually love this level so much and I had so much fun playing through it again. I love getting to destroy all the mutants. Thank you so much as always to my amazing channel members, Zanir, Rianne, Adam Green, Michael, Dealey Boy, Gerard, John, Alchemist Days, Alessandro Campos, Mrs. Veronica Cat, Axe Mania, Miss Blood Rain 6000, David Partington, Shadow Wesker, David Morrison, JJ Dreamer 8, Jade Silcock, Jason Hellman, Hunter McDaniel, Carol Profix, Susie Kwan, CB, Brenda, Adenio, Jen the JJ, Binho, Sam, Josh Wood, a Seber 888, Bill Gilroy, Jojo, Emerald Raider, Marcos Leandro, Carmen Delash, Alicia Jade Fisher, Halit, Matthias, Absent with Concept, Christy, Joey Pavelis, John Dreesen, JB, Michael White, Brad Gurr, Saint 318, Steve A, Seth Brown, and I would like to give a special welcome to our new channel members. They are Resi Raider, Lucy H, and Vincula. Thank you all so, so much for supporting my channel. It absolutely means the world to me and I will see you all very, very soon in the next video.